everyone. This week we're going to create pop art in Google Slides. So right now I'm in my drive. That's where you'll navigate your Google Drive first and you'll click on new. You'll click on Google Slides, click on that arrow, and then click on blank presentation. Once I've got this blank presentation pulled open, the very first thing I'm going to do is double click on untitled presentation up in that upper left corner. I'm going to write my full name and then I'm going to do an underscore and write the project. We are doing name pop art today. So that's the name of the project. You'll have your full name and name pop art. Once you've got that saved, and we've got it saved if I've typed it, I'm gonna go to my slide. This is actually where our work's going to be created. I know I'm not going to use this bottom, this bottom text box, so I'm just gonna click on it and click delete in my on my keyboard now I've got this so the first thing I'm going to do is double click on that text box and I'm going to type my last name my full last name is the name of the is the name we're going to use for this project once I've got my full last name typed I'm going to select it and I've got a couple options I can use so I've got the font style that I can change. And since this is a pop art project, I want my letters to be nice and bold. So that's the font I'm gonna use. You can use any font style you'd like. I'm gonna change the font size of my project. Um, I need it much larger than this, so I'm not gonna just keep clicking the plus sign. I'll go ahead and click the number and then click 96, because that's the biggest I want it. If I wanted a little bit bigger, I could actually click on the font size and I could type in my own size so I'll type in 125 and we'll leave it at that um, now I'm gonna change the color of my text if you ever don't find an option up here or get confused anytime you leave your arrow there it will tell you what the option is and then these three dots to the right if I click on that it'll give me more options and in this case it's going to be the color of my text so I'm gonna click on that color and I'm gonna change my text to a bright um, purple. We're gonna change my text to a bright neon purple. So now I've got my text done. Now what we're gonna do is add a shape for our text or sh a shape behind our text. So I'm gonna go to insert and I will go to shape. And any every shape I click on or every option I click on will give me a whole bunch of additional options. In this case, I'm gonna go down to callouts and I want something that kind of looks like an old school comic book where you see those words that are like, bam, pop, wow. Um, and in this case, it's Martinez or whatever your last name is. So I'm gonna click this first option and I've got this cursor, which means I can draw my shape. And the way I'm going to draw it is I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag. So I'm left clicking and I'm dragging. I'm gonna let go. I want my shape to take up as much of my page as possible, but I also want it to cover my letter. So I'm just using these boxes on the side, and then I'm just dragging them open. You can use any shape you want for this. Um, I've covered my name though, so I need to fix that first. So I'm going to I know my shape is selected because I see that blue rectangle around it. And I will go up to Arrange and Order. Oops, Arrange, Order. And I will say Send to Back. And that's gonna bring, it's gonna send the shape backwards and bring my text forward. Um, now if I wanna select my text, I just click right on it. And anytime I see those black arrows that look like a compass, that'll allow me to move my shape. Uh, my text is actually a little bit too big for my shape. So I'm gonna click in my letters and I'm gonna double click. That will select my text. And I'm going to make my text a little bit smaller. So instead of 125, I'm going to put 105. And it makes my text just small enough to fit. I actually might keep it a little bit smaller so it's a little bit easier to work with. And now if I wanna move it, I can just move that box when I see those black arrows. So I've got my, my text the way I want it. Um, now I'm gonna go back to my shape by clicking on it. Now I've got my shape selected. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple things with my shape. I'm going to go up to this pencil and change the border color. My border color, I'm going to make orange. 
you can't really see it. You can see a little tiny line. So I've got my color on there, but I wanna be able to see it. So now I'm gonna go to border weight, click on that, and I'm gonna go eight. And that makes a nice thick line that really pops out. Now I like that gray, but I think I can make it a little bit nicer there. So I'm gonna go up to the paint bucket, which is a fill color. I'm gonna click that, and I'm going to click a nice blue, and that's really gonna make my name pop out. So now I've got all that happening on a nice plain white border, or white background. So I wanna do something with the background now. So now what I'll do is I'll go up to format. Oops, I'm gonna get on the right, um, the right option here which is our background. Um, so I'll click on background and once I click on that, the color is white. So let's see, I've got orange, purple, and blue. So how about we do something, something that's really gonna pop out. Let's do green. And you can see it's changing in the background. I could also add an image back there if I wanted to, like if I had a polka dot pattern or something I could. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is, click done. And this is my name pop art for this week's project. I want you to make sure that you're focusing on using a lot of color. I want you to make sure that you're experimenting with font style and font size. You don't have to use the same font as I chose. You don't have to use the same colors and you definitely don't have to use the same shape. So have all kinds of fun this week with your project. Let me know if you have any questions.